But what I, I thought that what it would happen is that you would see it, like uh, two locations, it would look, and it would see it in two locations. And what, what they discovered is that these tiny elementary particles that make up the entire universe are actually commanded to a sense, are actually, uh, can, can be manipulated and, and changed according to human will and intention and thought. If they thought it that it was going to be some way, it was going to be some way. If, if they thought it was going to be a different way, it's going to be a different way. Now, how does this apply to our lives? How does this apply to creating wealth? Do you remember when I said the invisible world creates the visible world? Mm. Didn't you, uh, you all said that your thoughts create your results, mm. right? Your thoughts, how do you think about things, creates your results. Uh, if you think, if you have the identity, if you think that you're going to become wealthy, guess what's going to happen? You become wealthy. What's interesting is that you, from a psychological point of view, we, from a psychological point of view, we all get that. If we think we're going to become wealthy, we'll act in accordance to that, and we're going to get the results. But at a whole different level, at a metaphysical level, a spiritual level, that happens as well. Um, when you think things, it's like that energy, that thought energy, just extends itself forever. And it meets up with more of your thought energy, and meets up with uh, aligned thought energy out there in the great big cosmos. And it's just when it reaches that critical mass and just kind of gets, com gets compressed together and congeals out there in the universe, it then is created in your physical reality. According to this philosophy, of course, which you do not have to take on board at all, at all. You can see this from a NLP point of view, personal development, psychological point of view, clean and clinical. You can see this from a metaphysical point of view. Uh, however you want to see it, the, the fundamental uh, principle here is that you think your reality into being. You think your reality into creation. Does that make sense so far? Yes. yes. Okay? And now here's the thing. Who here has heard about uh, Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill? He interviewed over his entire lifetime uh, thousands of uh, the wealthiest uh, uh, American industrialists and entrepreneurs. And they had something in common. It, it's a really spooky thing when you think about it. They all saw it done before it happened. They all kind of wrote down their plan, thought about what they wanted to achieve, and the interesting thing is they, they would actually spend quite a lot of time just thinking about it exactly as they wanted it, like, like seeing it before it happened. I don't know if you know, if you know this, but most uh, high-performance athletes, let me say that again, high-performance athletes nowadays, they do exactly the same thing. Before they start a game or, or, or a marathon or a sprint or whatever, they see in their mind's eye the result that they want to create. And then they go out there and they create, and they make it manifest. They create that result. Okay? Now, if the richest and wealthiest, most successful people uh, used this, and the most successful athletes used this, why don't we use this, eh? Hey, hey? hey. <laughs> that, was a, that was a Canadian accent. Eric, I'm spending way too much time around you, eh? <laughs> anyway, this joke just bombed here. Uh, Eric, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna have to do this in, in Montreal or something. Anyway, eh? Okay, so, so um, they, they just saw it done. So they had a certain process. They have a certain process to use this metaphysical understanding that we think uh, the rea our reality into being and to to, uh, uh, um, to creating it. And I kind of identified about ten different steps that one needs to to use, utilize uh, in order to uh, to create. Uh, in order to apply the process of manifestation. Would you like to know? Yeah. Just when I was about to say something. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love this. I, I, I often do things, as I said, I, I, I don't do things by, I often don't do things uh, in a focused way, in a way that's tremendously organized. It's just, I have that insight, it just comes to me and I just go and create it. For example, this manual, the wealth magnetics concept, or inspired seminars, or or this, this sheet, this, this sheet of paper, page 25, kind of just came to me. And it, it came to me uh, after having read, I mean, dozens of books around spirituality and the personal manifestation, attending all these wealth creation seminars. And I, I love it, by the way, more and more uh, when I attend wealth creation seminars. Well, up. Again, testing. When I uh, r read books around wealth creation, more and more people seem to be uh, catching on to this concept about the manifestation, the, the spiritual side of things. But here's the thing. You could have 
I guess to a certain extent, you could have the right beliefs and, and be doing the right things. You could be doing, you could be, uh, you know, saving your money and you could be building businesses and building business systems and educating yourself. But if the psychological aspects and the, the mental aspects and the, and the metaphysical aspects are not there, you'd be doing it the hard way. You'd be doing it the hard way because, 